so uh, why should people read the worldwide uh, infrastructure security report? Now, uh, it gives you a unique insight of what the largest operators uh, face every day in their uh, network reality. Uh, it also gives you a unique perspective of how the threats has uh, been emerging throughout the past years. Uh, they will also inform you or try and, and, and um, see, foresee the future of how they will actually emerge. And it's not just Arbor saying this is how it will actually be. It's you know, anecdotes from many different tier ones, tier twos, mobile operators, enterprises and also government. So this is a good rule of thumb in order to understand where the threats are going, what should I actually be protecting, what should I be most afraid of, and that kind of stuff. So in order for you to be able to plan on a infrastructure uh, or a security infrastructure that you actually need, no matter if it's, it's routers, maybe it's uh, arbor equipment, um, you need to have some sort of rule of thumb of what kind of capacity should I aim for. Should it be in mega packets per second? Should it be in kilo packets per second? What kind of bandwidth requirements would actually uh, be needed in this scenario? Maybe I should have some sort of cloud-based solution. Uh, so, so that I can actually have some sort of uh, parameter uh, uh, defense in, uh, in an integration with some sort of cloud uh, mitigation service.